Very Psych is the first diagnostic aid to help diagnose schizophrenia. To date, the diagnosis was mainly based on a psychiatric interview where a psychiatrist was, uh, would ask a patient, do you hear voices or do you think people are out to get you? And it would be neither specific nor sensitive. But now we have developed a blood test which is based on a panel on a number of protein analytes which are changing in blood and from that panel we can basically distant, um, extract a signature which tells you whether someone is likely to have schizophrenia or not. The psychiatrist still interviews the patient, obviously we would not apply this test to someone who has no psychiatric symptoms at all. And if he thinks this patient or this person may have a severe mental illness, he will take a blood test and just send it to the rules-based medicine laboratory in Texas. And within a week, they would get a readout giving them the chance that a patient may have schizophrenia. And then they can review that and combine that together with their clinical information and make a decision how to best treat this patient or to refer her maybe to a specialist. Verisyc investigates a number of proteins in, in the blood serum. Uh, it measures these molecules which are building blocks of life really and the changes that we see are similar changes that people see in conditions like inflammatory conditions like rheumatoid arthritis, like certain um, other infectious diseases, they seem to be changing in schizophrenia. Also a number of hormonal changes are observed and particularly also changes which relate to how a person copes with stress. Cortisol, many uh, will have heard of that um, hormone and many others which seem to be specifically changing in schizophrenia. Um, very psych is the first product, we call it an aid to the confirmation of the diagnosis of schizophrenia. But what we really want is a diagnostic, a more specific diagnostic test. And for that purpose, we not only have to distinguish schizophrenia from healthy people, but also schizophrenia from other related mental disorders, in particular bipolar affective disorder and major depressive disorder, possibly and ideally also autistic spectrum disorder, because all of these disorders may present with similar psychiatric symptoms. However, that treatment will be quite different. The other product which we see as a very, very high priority is to distinguish, distinguish um, unipolar depression from bipolar depression. If he would know that someone is more likely to have be bipolar disorder patient, then he would give antidepressants in a lower dose probably and also in conjunction with the mood stabilizing agents and be much, much more cautious. With this test, hopefully longer term, we can also substratify patients and identify which patients to be treated should be treated with which drugs. So we um, reduce the lag time for a patient's improvement and therefore um, improve his life quality. Often young people who are affected leave home, get involved with drugs and other negative factors, they fall out of education and then they may never recover that momentum to go back to normal life. So if we do something early on with the test, substratify, treat effectively, I think this will be a major improvement.